this is James with WSTrades.com. I want to provide an update here on AMC. So they released second quarter earnings information and it is good news. They beat on earnings per share. They also beat on revenue. So the consensus here um, was I believe 1.29 billion in revenue. Um, so that's what was expected by analysts and they came in at 1.35 billion and then EPS, they were expected to lose four cents a share. They came in at a break even. So let's take a look here at some more of those numbers. So total revenue growing by 15.6% year over year. Um, we've got net income 8.6 million compared to a net loss of 121.6 million in quarter two, 2022. Um, diluted EPS was one cent compared to diluted loss per share of 12 cents in quarter two, 2022. Adjusted EBITDA improving by 75.8 million over the same quarter in 2022. We got net cash used in operating activities improved by 63.2 million. Um, and then we got non-GAAP operating cash generated was 99.8 million, an improvement of 47.8 million. And then available liquidity at June 30th, 2023 was 643.4 million, including 208.1 million of undrawn capacity under the company's revolving credit facility. So there was also a big boost here um, in the attendance uh, comparing to the same quarter a year ago. They moved from 59 million up to 66 million. And then um, you can see here the adjusted diluted loss per share, the break even, and then the diluted earnings per share at one cent. Uh, so definitely good news. And you know, buyers are reacting to this. This thing is ticking up here. Um, go to the 15 minute. Yeah, it's up above the 5.30 mark now, so it's made a pretty good move, closed at $5.12 yesterday. Um, the CEO did also make a few comments here, I believe, yeah, up here. So he's talking about, uh, you know, it was a very strong quarter, you know, we're finally able to uh, get out of losing EPS, um, which has been going on quarter after quarter for a long time. Um, so he says here that AMC saw more than a 12% growth rate in attendance, a 15% growth in total revenue, and a 71% increase in adjusted EBITDA compared to the second quarter of 2022. Indeed, adjusted EBITDA was 182.5 million, the highest such quarterly figure since the fourth quarter of 2019. So a lot of these numbers we're seeing here are, you know, as good as they've been. It's been a long time, you know, pre-pandemic, we haven't seen numbers like this. Um, so he's talking about uh, one area that has far exceeded pre-pandemic norms has been per patron revenue. AMC moviegoers are consistently seeking out the most immersive sight and sound experiences, especially important to AMC as we offer more premium large format screens than any other exhibitor. He says with the first half of the year now behind us, the 2023 domestic industry box office is 20% ahead of last year. And we believe the second half of the year could be better unless the strikes wind up delaying the release of movie titles into next year. Um, so we're off to an explosive start here with Barbie, Oppenheimer, Mission Impossible, uh, Sound of Freedom, among others. So Aaron concluded, in addition to improving our operating results, we also methodically continue to strengthen our balance sheet. During the second quarter of 2023, AMC raised some 34 million of cash through the sale of APE units and reduced the principal balance of our debt by 42 million through debt repurchases. While I'm so very proud of the progress we have made since the depths of the pandemic, we have to continue to climb. Even with our 643 million of quarter ending liquidity, our ability to continue to raise capital and remain agile are absolutely vital to maintaining our strong recovery trajectory. There are real and potentially severe liquidity hurdles on the horizon that we will need to overcome. So even though this is definitely good news, we're finally seeing um, an EPS that isn't in the negative. You know, like he's saying, it's been, you know, years and years since we've seen these kind of numbers um, in earnings, but he's still saying we've got to still raise capital. And that's probably going to come in the form of dilution. So for me, I mean, this is cool. This is great um, that they finally turned uh, you know, a quarter where they don't have a loss or a negative EPS here. So it's definitely a move in the right direction. But, uh, you know, with the CEO still coming out and saying we've got, we still have real liquidity challenges, you know, we're going to have to raise capital. For me, that's dilution and I'm going to keep selling calls on this thing. So, I mean, I don't want to be negative here, but I'm just real. CEO keeps coming out and saying we still face big challenges. Um, 
and we still might run out of cash. I think he just tweeted a couple days ago on Sunday that, you know, those liquidity challenges are still real and, you know, we're going to have to raise capital if we want to stay afloat. So what I'm kind of looking for here is, um, you know, a bigger move. I know we moved up pretty good here, 20 cents or something right now. Um, based on where we closed yesterday, but I would like to see something a little higher, maybe 550, 6 mark, um, so I can go out and sell some more calls. So I'm going to continue to take short positions on this, um, and we'll kind of see what happens. You know, maybe they can have a really strong quarter uh, next quarter and actually turn that EPS into a positive number that's a little bigger. Um, but we'll kind of see what happens. I know, you know, the strikes will definitely affect AMC's ability to perform well financially. Uh, depending on what happens with those strikes. So we'll kind of see what happens here moving forward, but definitely a move in the right direction, no doubt. But for me, I'm going to keep selling calls on this thing until I see something drastically different in their financials. So I'll continue to keep you updated on AMC. Please like this video. Please also subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Appreciate you for taking the time to watch this. Talk to you soon.